Welcome everyone to the rather late Skippy track guide. Now I was going to do this because I was going to focus on the F3, which I'm following all this season, and uh, the GT3, both of them, the Ferrari fixed and the GT3 fixed in B-Class, was at Knock Hill. So I decided to do them too. Then I had a few messages saying, where's your Skippy track guide? So I thought I would pinch a little time and uh, well make a little guide it's a little bit late so i do apologize i wasn't going to make one but i thought enough people asked it's worth me fulfilling that uh, responsibility i have to uh to my little community here so yes here it is being made for you right now so let's crack on with it to be honest so info for you i did uh, enter an official session so this is why track usage is low which i thought was surprising you might find it's medium in the race so you might have a little bit more grip setup is the one that i always use which will be in my lap files on my disc Cord, and uh, the track temp 69 Fahrenheit degrees will be above my head so that's all that done and dusted but yeah uh, set up and everything will be in my discord I'll mention that in a bit actually now I was only third fastest because this guy he did a 10534 so he must be cheating or a wizard which I think should be a stage above alien so you got alien which is you know not human and then you got wizard which must mean he's using magic teleportation uh time travel all that mumbo jumbo stuff to be that quick that is absolutely insane but all I could muster was a 106146 so yeah quite fun track this uh lap 12 it was and I my fuel was 1.4 gallons at the end of the lap so maybe I had 1.6 at the start or whatever it works out to be uh otherwise Two screens above my head you'll see the how i entered this session how i actually did enter this session officially uh into official session so you'll see that how i normally do that and the other one will be my discord where you can find the lap files which includes the setup as mentioned uh olap b lap telemetry and replay file so they're all there for you so you can see exactly how i did also i will show you another clip as well just above my head if there's enough space on the screen of what turn one can be like you definitely need to control the oversteer here through turn one and into turn two try and keep Keep as straight line as you can, but I'll mention that anyway. Um, yeah, enough waffling. Let's crack on with it. Right then, here we go. Phoenix Road Course and Turn 1 into Turn 2 is fun to say the least. Be very cautious with cold tyres through here, but we're taking that bit flat. You will need to lift on cold tyres. And at that white line, we start lifting off the throttle and braking very gently. Trying to balance them both. Remember, the brakes are much more powerful than the throttle. All you're doing is just keeping a bit of acceleration in there to stop the spinning out. As my little clip showed, it is very easy to do. Try and kill that cone on turn two as much as you can. It helps you get a nice straight line into the next section. Now, miss that first curve, but if you can get a tire on this curve, really helps you take that as much throttle as you can. I find that if you miss that curve, you did understeer wide. This corner is completely flat out at turn five. You can clip the curve, not a problem, but aim for the outside of the track as soon as you can. Ride that curve and towards the end of it, on cold tires, you want to start lifting off, but when you get nice and warm, start aiming for the apex and then about halfway between them, you can stand on the brakes a little bit breaking a straight line for this awkward awkward turn seven eight nine i don't know why it's three corners but hey ho first gear miss the apex curb because it is like mount everest absolutely huge but try and focus on getting a full throttle application as soon as you can avoid that curb and don't keep turning much you want to get the car in a straight line it accelerates best in a straight line so get the turning done as quickly as possible and then fly down here Pick the breaking point for this very important corner now at start of the white line just before it break heavily in a straight line first gear for this one and again miss the curb it really unsettles the car and you want to get on full throttle asap because we are full throttle again now until turn one so that's crazy uh aiming for the traffic light thing out there you can see in the black marks on the corner just there in a straight line as best you can when you get to that point nice smooth application of the turn use all of the road as much as you can don't touch the apron it will unsettle the skippy get a good exit i keep in fourth if you've got a car in front of you you will need to change a fifth a bit earlier but that is us across the line ready for the next one with a 106146 so yeah low sixes for me i did a few um point threes with a bit more lighter fuel but yeah turn one is very very tricky you're gonna have to practice braking as gently as you can without oversteering i do run quite a high front brake bias if you are having an issue run that brake bias a little bit back i normally run 55 56 57 sort of around there roll it back but you will need to extend your braking zone and be careful of rear lockups at the other braking zone of turn 11 onto the oval otherwise i hope you enjoyed this thank you very much for watching i'll catch you on the next one